So I'm out here on the East Coast on a work trip with Chum. We're checking out a 1782 bronze Spanish cannon. The seller wants $75,000. So I'm waiting on Alex to tell me if this thing is a bang or a bust. Oh, there they are. Found Alex, Rick. Help the old man out. I mean, I'm helping Alex out. I'm going to be back over there and help the old man out as soon as I get next to you. <laughs> nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Alex. Well, uh, this is it. Yeah, this thing is a monster. I mean, I saw photos of it, but I didn't actually realize it was quite this big. But this is gorgeous. Where would you have found a cannon like this? It actually says it. Yeah, so there were two main foundries in Spain at the time, Barcelona and Seville. This one is Seville, and then the date, and this is May 1782. And this thing would have been cast as solid bronze. They use bronze because bronze was stronger and it was better at sea. The salt didn't degrade it like it did iron. The other thing about bronze is it was expensive. And at the time, they did care about money. They did care about status. And bronze was much, much easier to embellish than you could iron, which is why you see this very ornate royal cipher. And also, every Spanish cannon always had a name, which is up here on a scroll. <laughs> It's so cool. So this, this part of the cannon's called the chase, and this is a scroll, and it's uh, El Tronador. So that's the thunderer. It's awesome. I, I'm in love with this thing, but it's the tube. I don't really care much for the carriage. This would have had originally a very hardwood carriage. So it's a late 19th century carriage in order to make this a great display piece. Would you polish it up? No, no. Polishing this up would be like a, a, an absolute crime. This is what collectors love. So she wants $75,000 for it. OK, I don't know if that's a great price. I don't know if this thing will blow up when we fire it. There's a million things we need to know. So if we want to fire it, I think my suggestion would be that we do a little bit of a lighter load for powder. Uh, and instead of a traditional cannonball, we will pack it with uh, shot, basically, because even though it's solid bronze. It is still over 200 years old. Exactly. And, uh, <laughs> and if it does fail, uh, it's much better to have it fail under low pressure than high pressure. And uh, once it shoots, uh, I think it'll be better to have the value conversation then. Um, all right, load her up. All right, all right. <laughs> I'm a little scared to see it get fired, but I'm hoping if we fire the cannon and it works, that will get me to that 75,000 price. All right, Rick. So this is the charge. It's eight ounces of black powder. They'd normally use between two and a half and three pounds. But it's still going to give us a good bang. Oh my god. And these are the projectiles. So it's a canister shot. So this is 50 musket balls. And the idea is much like a shotgun. When it fires, it spreads out. All right. It's all you now. All right. Yep. So this pokes the powder bag, take the fuse, and stick it down into the black powder bag. Fire the hole. You stole my line. <laughs> Everybody step back once. Yeah. Don't get scared now, Rick. <laughs> this thing fired so well. Boom! Boom! I mean, boom! And you just feel the concussion right into your chest. But it was great. The wow. target has been hit. I mean, it did hit it. I could see it from yeah. here. Oh, I <laughs> felt that. That's good news for someone. It is. All right, so what do you think of it? It fires like a champ. It didn't blow up. I thought it fired great. I, I love this cannon. It's got great history, beautiful markings, and it fires, and it's great to look at. So if we're just talking about the tube as far as value, so I think every day of the week, it's $40,000. The carriage, if you were to build that today, it would cost you at least $5,000, maybe $10,000. So as a pair, I think $50,000 is fair. OK. Yeah. Thanks, man. All Appreciate right. it. See you guys. Thank Bye. you. Bye. All right. Still a lot of money for a cannon. Let me take it off your hands for 35000 That way, your husband won't try it out and blow himself up. I appreciate that, but no. <laughs> no thirty-five. We could do better. What would that number be? Mm, 45. 
I'll tell you what, I'll do 42,000, um, not a penny more. There's a lot of expenses in selling a cannon. Number one is shipping. So 42, and you'll take this off my property, and I'll never see it again. I will get a truck to come here and pick it up. It'll never be on your property again. Deal. OK. I'll go get Alex. You figure out where you're going to get $42,000 from. <laughs> I was really targeting 75000 but to get this off my property, 42000 really fires me up. 